Steering forces generated by the tires may cause a continual pull. Locating the faulty tire or tires is a matter of substituting positions and then looking for a change in the symptom. With the vehicle set on the alignment rack according to the manufacturer's guidelines, place the transmission in park, set the parking brakes, and chalk the wheels. Lift and securely support the vehicle with the wheels clear of the runways. Perform a thorough pre-alignment inspection. While doing so, pay particular attention to the condition of the tires. Check for proper application, size, tread design, and look for any abnormal tread wear or physical damage. Verify and adjust air pressure to specifications. Attention to these details can often locate the problem quickly. Now mark and record each wheel's location for later reference. Then remove the front wheels, switch positions, and perform a road test. If the pull changes direction, a tire force condition may be present in one or both of the front tires. In this case, to reduce the effects, move one of the tires to the rear axle or invert it on its rim. If altering the location of the wheels eliminates the pull, always refer to the vehicle and or tire manufacturer's guidelines to determine if they may be left in the new positions. When faced with directional tires or different size wheels front to rear, rotation diagnosis is not an available option. Instead, you must substitute tires at each wheel position and then road test. When the troubleshooting procedure is finished, always tighten the lug nuts to the manufacturer's specified torque and in the proper sequence.